Hi there. You know, a lot of times when uh, we talk about salvation, people think, oh, well, yeah, you know, I asked Jesus to forgive me my sins, and now I'm forgiven, and, and I belong to him, which is right. That's absolutely right. It's awesome. It's glorious. It's over the top, you know, exciting. But salvation is more than just having your sins forgiven and given a ticket into heaven. The word salvation in the New Testament, it encompasses like health for your body, soul, and spirit. It encompasses deliverance and freedom, prosperity, and just everything that pertains to off the charts kingdom life. So the moment you come into Christ, all of that is available to you. All the promises of God are yes and amen. And so when you realize, I'm saved from, it's not just from your sin. It's not just, oh, I'm saved from my sin and I'm forgiven. I'm saved from sickness and disease. I'm saved from poverty. I'm saved from depression. I'm saved from bondage. I'm saved from sadness. I'm saved, I'm rescued from everything that, that wasn't invested into me when creation began. You see, when God created you in the very, very beginning where there was no sin, everything was glorious. There was fullness of joy in the presence of God. There was, there was nothing to resist love. I mean, it was perfect, perfect, perfect environment. Well, you've been saved from everything that resists that. Isn't that amazing? So your invitation is to live inside of the goodness of God, and that invitation is for all of us today. So as we meditate on salvation and praise God for saving us, I was just meditating on this uh, last night. I was saying, God, I've been saved from so much. Like just over 30 years ago, I was, I was trapped. I was in a prison. I was in a prison of mental torment and emotional anguish. I was I was tormented by my own wrong choices. I was making a mess of everything. I couldn't get out of a mess. Mess was everywhere. You know, I was trapped in it until God saved me from it. And now I'm no longer trapped in that. Why? Because I've been saved into a glorious kingdom life where I have bounty in everything. Where I think of every day I get to serve Jesus. I, every day I get to do things that fill my heart with gladness. Every day I get to know his love. Every day I see glimpses of what I was, I was saved into and what I was saved from. It's awesome. So I invite you to praise God for your salvation. And if you have friends that aren't saved yet, whoo, give them, give them, just, just dump on them through your prayers the power of salvation. Say, Lord, I release the power of salvation, the full power of your salvation, not just slipping through the cracks, but the power of salvation I release to my loved ones now in Jesus' name. I release the power, the zappo of salvation on my neighbor, on my son, on my daughter, on my spouse, on my relatives. Woo! Go, Lord. Go, Lord, to them now and let the power of salvation get a hold of them. Woo! It's awesome because when the power of salvation comes on someone, everything changes. It's not just, oh, well, Jesus loves me. He's forgiven my sin. Oh, no, no, no. It's way more than that. It's the fullness, the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Christ. That is what we've been saved into. What have we been saved from? All the yuck. I'm saved from all the yuck. And my portion is the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Well, I want to encourage you with some uh, resource from our resource store. First of all, do you know that you are unconditionally loved? Like, do you really know that or do you just know it in your mind? Or it, does it saturate your being? Because sometimes I find that people don't, don't embrace salvation, the fullness of it, because inside they still feel like, I'm guilty, I'm bad, I'm this, I'm not good enough for God, I haven't done enough for him, I haven't pleased him enough, I haven't done that. And so we have this subtle thing going on inside of us that says we're undeserving and we're unworthy. This CD, Ultimate Passion, is a must for everyone's CD library. You can order the download of it as well. Steve Swanson does the music, I do the message, but this unfolds to you the, 
the, the power of the cross, the revelation of the finished work of the cross that seals you into the love of God, not because of what you've done, but because of who you are. When you finish listening to this, I guarantee you that there will be a further revelation of the love of God in your life that will bring you into a place of opening that portal into the fullness of all God has for you. It's called the ultimate passion. What is the ultimate passion? God's love for you and the price he paid on the cross. The ultimate passion. It's a must for every library. Next, I want to feature um, In the Zone. This is my book, In the Zone, How to Live in the Blessing Realm. You see, what salvation does is it brings you into the blessings of God. Once you're saved, once you accepted Jesus as your Savior, not only do you have your sins forgiven, but you stand in a life of fullness, of blessing upon blessing upon blessing. Everything that pertains to life and to godliness is yours. All the spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ are yours for all time. But we have to learn how to appropriate those promises and carve out in our life a blessing realm that we live in that we live and move and have our being in. And so In the Zone is a must read for you because it teaches you not only how to establish that zone, but what do you do when things happen in life that definitely aren't blessings? You know, that something comes knocking on your door, a tragedy or something that you know doesn't have God's name on it. This teaches you how to turn those into blessings. And at the end of the day, you have a blessing beyond belief. It's like... Job. Yes, he got assaulted. Yes, some terrible things happened, but he turns it around for the greatest blessing. So he was even blessed more than what he was in the beginning. You're destined to live in the blessings of God. This book teaches you how. You can order a copy on our online bookstore. On the Just go to store on the menu there um, on, on xpmedia.com and order this today. We also have it in PDF download and in different uh, ebook um, formats. So order that today. And then finally, this one is, I believe, a must if you're believing for revival for your home. Is your home filled with the love and peace of God? Does it have that revival fire in your home? When people come through into your home, do they feel the peace of God, the goodness of God, the joy of God in it? Or does your household need to be revived? This is called revival fire in your home and how you can get it. It is two CDs. It's the spirit of revival for you and yours. That's for your family member, how to get that, that, that spirit of revival that, that brings back to life and the fullness of God's life for you and your family. But it also has a CD on revival finances, how to revive the uh, provisional aspect of your life and family in your home, okay? It's called Revival Fire in your home. Okay, so those are some um, uh, things that can help you. We love you at xpmedia.com. We're so glad that you have found our site. Tell friends about it and pass the news around. And also, if you want to join us for some time here in Maricopa, Arizona, we do host what is called the plunge, where you can just plunge into ministry. It's mainly evangelism where you go out and you share the gospel with people, go to door to door. In fact, we took the In the Zone book around to every uh, person in our, in our area. We've done that a couple of times with different uh, items. We go down to the university campuses, into the drug addicted areas, into the tourist spots and preach the gospel even into malls and theaters and things like that. And it's just fun. You become a part of the ministry. You become part of the intercession. You become a uh, part of the conferences and serve at conferences and do that. And you just plunge in. Just take the plunge. And so you can go online and for, find out more about the plunge. And also, we have what's called a web church. And yes, it's a cyber church. And you can have your own personal pastor that you have access to by phone and email, plus all kinds of video and message downloads and chat rooms and everything that you can be involved with um, to see the glory of God uh, touch your life and, and so you can mature um, in the goodness of God. So go online, xpmedia.com, and find out more about that. Love you with an everlasting love because he does. <laughs>